So your friends are going to be playing New World, but you haven't decided if you want to play yet because you haven't done much research into the game and you don't know much about it. Well, in this video, I'm going to go over some of the basics of the game just to give you an idea of what to expect and to go over some systems within the game. Let's start off with how the game is played. New World is an action combat MMORPG in which auto attacks and weapon skills, with the exception of a couple skills, are skill shots. The system makes the game very skill based and you'll be able to really shine the more you play your desired weapons. New World has your typical holy trinity of tank, DPS, and healer. However, the classes are determined by which weapon or weapons you have equipped. You're able to use two weapons and swap freely between them in combat, which allows you to choose how you want to play the game. The weapons that will be available at launch are the one-handed sword and shield, rapier, hatchet, spear, great axe, warhammer, bow, musket, fire staff, life staff, and ice gauntlet. Each weapon has its own talent tree, which will determine your skills and passives and what you have available to you in combat. Early on in the game, around level 8, you must choose one of three factions, Syndicate, Covenant, or Marauders. This is a very important choice as it determines which company you're able to join and who you will be able to PvP with and against. This is something I urge you to coordinate with your friends to ensure you're in the same faction. Speaking of companies, this is the guild system and can hold up to 100 players. You'll be able to join one once you choose your faction. Companies work more or less like guilds in most other games you've played, outside of the settlements. Settlements in New World are towns in each zone that companies are able to claim and govern. These settlements have the crafting stations in which you'll need to craft gear and the company who owns the settlement is able to upgrade the crafting stations allowing you to take advantage of higher crafting level recipes. Let's talk PvP. PvP holds a major role in New World in both Open World, which you would need to flag up for so you're not forced into it, and organized instance PvP in the form of wars, which companies will fight one another over territories to either defend one you have claimed or attack to claim one from another company, and Outpost Rush, which is a 20v20 PvPVE battleground in which you will fight other players while also contending against NPCs. While the PvP in New World plays a major role, the PvE side holds a lot to be desired. First off, there are six expeditions, aka dungeons, that start at levels 25, 35, 45, 55, and two at level 60. There are also outdoor dungeons that are not instanced with named bosses, and some areas have boss arenas, which you can classify as a world boss from other games you may have played. There will also be random spawn points throughout the map that are called corrupted portals. These corrupted portals need to be closed by completing a specific task to obtain experience, loot, and resource to help you further progress your character. These come in different types, levels, and difficulties. Crafting and gathering also plays a huge role in the end game, as most of the best gear you'll be able to obtain comes from crafting after you find the recipes through both indoor and outdoor dungeons, elites, daily elite chests you can find throughout the world, and possibly some of the boss arenas. Lastly, New World has player housing which offers different buffs depending on your decorations within your house in the form of trophies. As you can see, New World has a lot of depth to the game which should hold your attention for a very long time. This covers the game in a quick overview to give you an idea of what to expect. Leave a comment below and tell me what part of New World you're most excited about and why. And if you like this video, hit that subscribe button and the bell so you can be notified when new videos are posted. Also check out the description for some other useful links on where to find me. Thanks for watching.